done when it is done, and for well over done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success, that but this blow might be the be all and end all here, but here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here that we might teach bloody instructions, which being taught, return the plague to the inventor. This even-handed justice commends the poisoned ingredients of our own chalices to our own lips. He's here in double trust. First, I am his kinsman and subject, strong both against the deed. Then as his host, who should against his murderer shut the door, not bear the knife myself. Besides, this Duncan hath been so clear in his great office, hath borne his faculties so meek, that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet-tongued, against the deep damnation of his taking off, and pity, like the naked newborn babe, or heaven's cherubim horsed upon the sightless couriers of air, shall blow this horrid deed in every eye, that tears shall drown the wind. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition which o'erleaps itself and falls on the other. How now? What news? He has almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? Know you not he has? We'll proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have brought forth golden opinions from all sorts of people, which should be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk where you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account thy love. Art thou feared to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemst the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would like the poor cat of the adage? Prithee, peace! I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. What beast was then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you just do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender tis to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you had done to this. But should we fail? We fail? But screw your courage to the sticking place, and we'll not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's long journey soundly invite him? His two chamberlains will I, with wine and wassail, so convince that memory, the warder of the brain shall be a fume, and the receipt of reason a limbeck only. When in swinish sleep their drenched natures lies in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan, but not put upon his spongy officers, who shall bear the guilt of our great blood? Bring forth men, children only, for thy undaunted metal shall compose naught but males. Will it not be received when we have marked this blood, these two of his chamber? and use their very daggers that they have done it? Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death? I am settled, and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time at the fairest show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. <laughs> 